Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Glockman4519 uh, with another ROM overview. Uh, this ROM is VR Toxin. Um, in case you guys are not familiar with VR Toxin, um, it is the uh, metamorphosis of cyanide. Uh, this is cyanide basically uh, in marshmallow form. Uh, there are a lot of cool features about this ROM. Some features I don't like. Um, I'll get to that later. Um, but for the most part, I've got to say this uh, ROM has quite a few features in it for Marshmallow. Um, it, for the typical Marshmallow ROMs that are out there, this one is really, really packed. So let's get right into it. I want to try to make this video as short as possible. Uh, let's go to About Phone. Uh, show you. Uh, that this is VR Toxin. Uh, it is for the Nexus 6. Uh, as you can see, the uh, version is Android version 6, 6.0. Um, and I am running Elite Kernel. This is one of the two kernels that they recommend. Um, by the way, for at least right now, uh, the stock ROM, or I should say the supplied ROM, does force encryption. So if you are not encrypted, uh, you are going to want, or if you're not encrypted and want to stay encrypted, um, you're going to want to uh, flash uh, a kernel of your choice. Uh, I figured I would go with the kernel that they were recommending, or one of the two. Uh, the other one is uh, Hell's Core, um, and, you know, and see how it ran that way. And so far, it's running very, very well. Uh, what really, what I like about it the most are the features that come with this ROM. Um, I'm not going to go over every single thing in the settings, uh, in the settings menu. I just want to go over the features because that is what really sets this ROM apart from all the other ROMs out there. So let's just go ahead and get right into that right now. Um, under the developer options, I do always show developer options, uh, so you guys can see uh, these are the developer options that are available. Uh, and of course, I think the multi-window, yes, multiple window normally under a Marshmallow build is under the drawing uh, category, that is where you would uh, change your Windows uh, animation, um, your your window scale animation, your uh, your transition animation scale, your uh, your duration scale, all of that. Uh, this is where it's normally at. Sometimes it's at the very end down here, uh, but in this case, it is where it's normally at on a marshmallow build. Uh, the other one I want to get into is security. Uh, I'll let you guys see what is in the security settings. Um, it's pretty standard. Uh, and I do like to show those because I am asked by quite a few people to do that. Okay, under miscellaneous. Uh, this is going to show some of the settings that are normally on Marshmallow. Your memory settings, your storage settings, um, your tap and pay, stuff like that. These settings are normally on your normal Marshmallow or even your CM settings uh, right out in the main uh, category. Uh, they decided to put that under miscellaneous. Uh, then your sound settings and your display settings are pretty standard. You have your... Uh, Ambient display, uh, your adaptive brightness, all that, uh, your camera gestures, uh, double tap on the power button, and that does work. Uh, this does have a uh, dark theme. Uh, you can change it to the dark theme or light theme or have it set automatic. Uh, I have it set to dark. Um, it helps to see uh, some of the lettering. I've noticed that it there's a glitch, and I will show you now if it'll do it. I'll go to light and go back. It may not do it now because I'm running a layers theme. Uh, and the layers theme is probably just going to put its own uh, thing on it. But let's go ahead and get right into the uh, VR Toxin mods. 
These are the mods. It's set up kind of like how Carbon ROM used to be, where all your settings are in slide to the right format, where you would slide to the next category, slide to the next category, and so on. Uh, I do want to go through all these settings for you so you can see everything that's in this. Uh, under animations, these are your animations, and I'm going to tell you what's really cool is they have scrolling animations in this. I love this mod. Um, this is normally a, uh, an exposed mod, um, and what it allows for is quick scrolling. Uh, if you're going through a very long list, like on the XDA website or whatever, you can really scroll through the list very, very fast. So uh, I appreciate them putting that in. Uh, and then you have all of your other normal animations. There's your three-finger gesture. Uh, under battery, this is basically just your battery stats. They put it here. All right, under buttons, you have your hardware buttons, uh, backlight, hardware keys, your enable custom actions, uh, keyboard, and reorient. Nav bar buttons, um, you can customize them, which is really, really cool. Um, it has the, uh, uh, like the, uh, the AOKP type settings where, uh, if you can remember back from KitKat, uh, AOKP, you just kind of grabbed a hold of it and moved it, whoops, just kind of grabbed it and slided it where you wanted it, and it moved your buttons. Um, I do want to move that back, like that. You don't have to hit save. It automatically puts the buttons there and keeps them there. Uh, your advanced settings. Here's what is in there. You can put a menu if you want, a menu button. Um, and what is really cool about this ROM <laughs> um, <coughs> is the ability to, co to colorize almost everything on here. I'm not going to go through all the color options, guys. All I can tell you is you can color almost anything on this as far as your icons go, your letterings go. I mean, you can color it. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, and then you have your height and your width for your nav bar. Under interface, uh, this is where you would have your app circle set up uh, or your, app, uh, your sidebar set up. Uh, gesture anyways, here's your power menu. Uh, this will let you guys see what uh, is in the power. You can uh, do your advanced reboot. Um, when you customize, this is where you can add features to it. Uh, what, you know, what you want in your power menu. And of course, you get to color them if you want. If you look at my power menu, everything is colored. I did, I did that myself. Uh, which is, again, really awesome. Uh, and then you have Slim Pie settings if you want those. Under your lock screen, here are your uh, controls for customizing your lock screen. You have your circle shortcuts um, and your, uh, uh, your global lock screen colors. Again, more color opti uh, optimizations here. Um, if you didn't want to run any theme or a layers theme, you, w you don't have to, to be honest with you. Unless you want to theme your apps, um, he's pretty much got it covered uh, as far as uh, the, um, the UI and all that goes. Under your notifications, you have your breathing notifications, forced expanded uh, notifications, your immersive mode, heads up, all that, it's all here. And again, custom colors. You will see this throughout all the settings. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable uh, what they have set up that you can change and, and uh, colorize in this. All right, under your quick settings, here is where you would go to add or remove any of your tiles. Uh, if you would want to add a tile, you would get down to the bottom, click add. This is what is left from what I put on here. And, of course, as you can see, I have colored uh, my quick setting. I went with like a bluish kind of opaque background, uh, purple icons, and uh, yellow wording. 
then you have your uh, all your settings you can do for your uh, your drop down and your icons, your advanced location, and your you know your uh, auto collapse panel, brightness slider, so on and so on. Then you have your recents panel, uh, clear all buttons, clear all tasks, uh, your clear your uh, location for that button. And then, of course, more colors. Customize everything. Shake to clear if you want. Uh, I like the full recents, the full screen recents, if I hit my recents button. Right now, I have this in full screen mode. So my recents are all the way to the top of my screen. And in order to get back, I just pull up from the bottom and hit the back button. Oops. Well, you know what? Let me just hit my recents again and go right back into my settings. There we go. That's why we have recents for multitasking. Uh, options for search bar. Now, status bar options. You have your uh, battery customizations. Uh, there you go for your, your battery options. Uh, again, you can color everything on this. Uh, your battery bar. Thank you for that. Uh, although there is an app in the Play Store now that you can use. I think it's it's a good app, don't get me wrong, but I like it when it's baked into the ROM. It seems to work better. It looks better. Uh, here are your clock settings. And, of course, you can color your clock. Uh, expanded header. Battery customizations in your expanded header. It's just cool, the amount of customizations they have for this. Your network icons, Wi-Fi, the whole nine yards, no SIM, uh, airplane mode is there. Weather and temperature. Here's where you would put your uh, temperature scale, which I have up. The font, the size, you can change the size of it. I mean, they have really thought this thing through. Uh, uh, again, it just has a ton of features. Th this is one of the most feature-packed Marshmallow ROMs that I have run. Yes, there are a few others out there that are close um, and may have a couple other uh, uh, different um, mods than this one has, but, I mean, this is just crazy. Uh, these are the kind of ROMs I live for. And then, of course, you have your wake lock blocker and weather controls. Um, I would have liked to have seen, and it may be in here and I may be missing it, I would have liked to have seen an, uh, a, uh, uh, that, uh, that weather icon at the top where it changes your header uh, to, a, uh, uh, to the current weather condition, whether it's night, day, or whatever. Uh, that I'd like to see eventually. Um, I'm also going to talk to my guys over the, uh, or my buddies over on the uh, Three Minute Battery Mod forum, and see if I can't get them to build me a mod for this. Now, what don't I like about this ROM? Not much. Um, this ROM is very, very solid. I've had no dropped calls, no nothing. Uh, it's solid. It's smooth. Scrolls nicely uh, with the uh, animations, um, customization. What I don't like about it that we're missing from Cyanide is no theme engine. Um, and this is just my opinion, guys. I think this was a mistake. I think they should have stuck with Cyanogen Mod. Uh, they're doing a hell of a job on the uh, Cyanogen Mod 13 and the, um, the uh, Cyanogen Mod 13 theme engine. Um, I'm running it on CR Droid, uh, on Cyanogen Mod 13, uh, on uh, Dirty Unicorn. Um, marshmallow, all of them, and it's working great. I, I really hope that they change this back and get rid of the layers. Um, layers just, and, it, and it's again, it's just my opinion, guys. I don't like layers. I, I don't like rebooting. I don't like uh, it, it. It just seems to me it's cheaply done, and and that's just the only way that I can describe it. All right, well, guys, uh, that was VR Toxin. Uh, again, this used to be um, cyanide uh, in the uh, lollipop days, uh, but this is now they have changed their name to VR Toxin. Um, 
you can find this ROM. I'm going to do some looking before I post the link. I'm not sure if they're ready for, uh, for it to be released uh, to the public. Um, I, although, he did put the link in the forum. So, you know, I'm guessing anybody can try it. Uh, but I figured I'd get this out there and show you guys, um, uh, and, you know, you guys can flash it for yourselves, and, you know, tell me what you think of it. Um, until I see you on the next one, uh, you guys all take care, and thank you uh, for subscribing to me. I really appreciate it, man. I never would have thought that I would have had so many people subscribing, um, and I do appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, so uh, keep the questions coming. If I can answer them, I will, and I will see you on the next one.